Hey guys and welcome back. So I thought I'd do a update deck, update video on the um, 200, well 300 litre cube 60 gallon reef tank. Um, I haven't really done much on cars this week. Um, I'm more waiting on parts to arrive and with the coronavirus we haven't had much like at ours and cut it work so I'm not splashing out money on cars currently because I don't know how long this is going to last and I don't want to go put money on cars and then find out I need money because we've been cut back on ours and all that kind of crap. So, a update on the 60 litre tank, uh, 270, 60 gallon, whatever it works out to be. So, the tank dimensions are 16 by 16 by 650, um, so it is pretty much a cube. Rock wise, um, there's a fairly large amount, I never even weighed the amount of rock we put in the tank I just sort of like the scapes so that's what I set with tank's a bit stirred up at the moment because I did a ward change uh, we've got our little clownfish um, need to buy a glass cleaner but he's been with me for two years now in different tanks um, he was in my triple tank setup I had and when I was living at home, then I moved him into a 50 litre Nano and then the Nano, because of certain th issues with the house um, where it got a lot of fresh water in it from storms from a leak in the roof, the Nano sort of crashed and I decided, I sort of didn't neglect the tank but I didn't want to throw the money at it because I wanted to set this tank up and I sort of just turned around and decided stuff it um and set this tank up so um i've got a coral box light which i've had for a couple of years now um hasn't really done much work for me it was on a couple of tanks that were temp free um, quarantine setups and all that kind of crap it was wireless but as you can see the wireless plug here is gone it broke off and the attempts we made at refixing that issue failed. Um, it runs dual fans on the top for cooling. I'm actually going to replace these with better fans because I find it still gets quite hot. So I might, the fans could be getting old um, and all that kind of stuff. So heater wise, I've got an Eheim um, heater. I've got a Corolox ATO setup that I'm going to be running. Uh, skimmer is a Deltec um, 400 so I'm still s messing around with the skimmer um, I had issues with lots of micro bubbles in the tank and then I've slowly been tuning it over the last few days to get it right oh, I can't really see in there but that's sort of how they work um, they're a hang on back oh. Just the height. Bastard. Have to reset that. Um, they're a hang on back skimmer, so they just clip to the back of the tank and hang down. Water changes, um, I'm doing 20 litres a week. Um, I'm dosing Aquaforest Bio S because the rock was cycled for a couple of year, uh, year in a bucket in a big container. But um, oh, just to be safe, I brought some bio -S. It was quite cheap. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description below. Parameter-wise, everything is doing exactly what it should. Um, so I'll the next update, I'll actually go through testing and a few other things. I'll probably put some stock in it in a week or two's time once I'm a bit happier. The clownfish is only in there so I can shut the old tank down and clear that space so we can fix the issues that we've got with the house. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. This video is more a cheap, large reef tank. Like, for the price, I've seen people build um, 30 gallon nanos and things like that. I've built a 270, 300 litre tank. Um, and Realistically, it'll survive about 
survive. Um, as long as you keep up your water changes, price wise, the skimmer owes me 500. I bought that new, um, the light was sick. I could buy secondhand one of those lights for about a hundred dollars. Lights in general are quite cheap. Um, the rock itself is probably the most expensive thing in the tank, realistically. The tank itself and the stand only owe me $27. I bought that on Trade Me. The hang on back um, phosphate reactor, which I haven't plumbed up, that owes me $20. Um, ATO, which you do not have to have. They're about $160 for memory. I bought that three years ago. So, real, like, you can set these tanks up on the cheap. And if any one is interested in setting one up on the cheap, I'm happy to go out and buy the cheapest stuff I can to build a reef tank and because like cars are one hobby but sometimes you can't afford to work on cars and these are a continuous maintenance thing that you get to enjoy they're nice people walk through the door they look at the tank and they instantly want to have a look at it kids love them um, and they're just a great hobby to get into so if anyone's interested in me doing a video on how to set up a cheap reef tank. Um, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do it. I've set up ch tanks on a budget. My first tank I ever built, I was still, was I year 9 in college, so I was about 16 when I did my first tank. And then I've, I set my old man's um, 1000 litre reef tank up. I've set up half a dozen other tanks around the place. And... I've had, like, with any hobby, you have your ups and your downs, you, my cars, for an example, I'll do six months of hard work on them, and then suddenly I'll stop working on them, reef tanks are the same, I'll go really hard, have this awesome looking tank, and then for some reason I just lose interest in it, but it is what it is, and at the same time, I still, this tank, I want to make a focal point, the door's right there, people walk in, and they instantly see the tank. Um, power wise I'm going to put a meter on it to see how much power it's using and just do a full rundown cost video of this um, as I said car updates are coming I've got gaskets and bits for the 20 debt showing up things that don't cost me a lot and uh, still going to make some content um, the 33 that I did a video on this week um, that's getting an update Hopefully over the weekend I'll put the new rims and super lows on it. Um, then I just I've got to find drive shaft end, and I'll go through the plans for that car. Currently um, I'm still 50/50 on what I'm going to do with it, and pretty much at the end of everything, so I've got to repaint the bumpers and that, which will be back to the factory color. Um, I'll sit down to a price breakdown of what the car owes me, and how much I could get for it if I sold it. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos, um, I'm trying to mix things up a bit so I can, can keep content flying every couple of days because as you guys know, working on cars is, is not a consistent thing, especially when you're on a tight budget like I am. So, appreciate all the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Laters.